U.S. natural gas futures fell almost 9% to below $8.30 after U.S. railroads and unions reached an agreement to avert a railroad strike that was expected to force generators to burn more gas to produce electricity. Prices surged 10% in the previous session, boosted by higher demand forecast and more coal-to-gas switching in case of the rail strike. About two-thirds of the nation's coal-fired power plants received their coal by rail. Average gas output in the U.S. lower 48 states rose to 99.1 billion cubic feet per day so far in September from a record 98 billion cubic feet per day in August, according to data provider Refinitiv. Average U.S. gas demand, including exports, is expected to decrease to 93.7 billion cubic feet per day next week, above Refinitiv's outlook on Tuesday, amid cooler autumn weather. Meanwhile, Freeport LNG expects a sharp delay in the restart of its Quintana export plant in November, leaving more gas in the U.S. for utilities to inject into stockpiles for next winter. Front-month Dutch gas futures climbed more than 4% to nearly €230 Euros per megawatt-hour, the highest in nearly a week as investors remain anxious about how and when the European Commission's intervention plan to curb soaring energy prices will take place. Investors remain worried about tightness in the market as there was no proposal to increase supplies, while temperatures started to fall and gas flows from Russia remained halted. Also, President Ursula von der Leyen said the bloc was discussing energy price caps, but that proposal was ditched for lack of consensus. Still, measures proposed by the Commission include raising €140 billion Euros from energy companies' profits, a mandatory cut on energy use, and measures to alleviate the liquidity squeeze in the sector. The changes still need to be discussed and signed off by member states. In the meantime, the latest data showed that European storage sites are about 84% full, slightly above the five-year average, and at 88% in Germany.